Okay, now we're going to take a look at a thorny devil. So these guys are native to Central Australia in this particular habitat. So lots of red sandy soil, lots of spinifex grass, and they walk just like that. <laughs> very, very peculiar animals. So what they do is they will walk a little bit like a leaf blowing in the wind to try and help protect them. So these guys, they are known as, they are called thorny devils because of the spikes covering their body. That's to help protect them from predators. So things like birds, bigger lizards as well, love to eat this, <laughs> eat this tiny fella. And they do hurt if you do pick them up. So if you guys do see one out in the wild, we wanna try and make sure that we leave them where they are. Now the other thing that they can do to help protect themselves from predators and also things like us is is this very special nobule on the back of their head. That looks like a second head for them. And if the bird flies over the top of them or something big that might want to eat them, what they can do is duck, tuck their head underneath their front two legs and then it'll swoop down, pick off the nobule on the back of their neck and they've got a second chance at life. It doesn't grow back though, unfortunately, but still they can get away and they can learn from their mistake of being way out in the open. Now then, they are obviously known as thorny devils because of the thorns all over their body. And they're very special and very hard to keep in captivity because these guys actually are very specific and picky eaters. So they only eat black ants and small black ants. And we're very lucky here in Alice Springs, we actually have those ants here on the property. So most people, they try and bait to get ants away from their property. We actually bait to keep ants here so that they've got plenty of food. Thorny devils eat lots and lots of ants a day. So around about a thousand or so each thorny devil so we need to be, make sure we have lots and lots of ants coming into winter when they'll be going into brumation or, or essentially reptile hibernation. That way they won't be too hungry.